In this episode, we show you what 24 hours of living looks like on a sailboat. We visit a very cool castle outside of Victoria. We show you the kind of meals we prepare on a sailboat. We take you along on our daily routine and we show you some of the maintenance that needs to be done on the boat. Good morning! Hello guys, how's it going? Hi from our sailboat, this is uh, us right in the morning. Yep, this is our bed, as you can see right here. Hello! That's actually my side, and this is Katya's side, but this morning I slept on her side. Yeah. But uh, today we're going to show you guys how we live our life on the boat a whole 24 hours. So we just woke up, yep. it's a beautiful day outside, and now we're gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah, and this is our current routine on our sailboat, so as things continue to change and we go to different places, we'll show you the new 24 hours, but this is what we're doing right now. This is today, and our dog, she always comes up and greets us <laughs> in the morning, and she's kind of crazy, so I'll show you Bailey. But yeah, let's go make some breakfast. Come here. All right, let's go to our little kitchen. <laughs> so this is the little kitchen. We are gonna have some oatmeal for breakfast. So we're just gonna boil some water in our kettle. But first we have to turn on the propane. Oh, we press the left one first, right? Okay, I'm turn that on. So now the propane line is on. And then we have to turn this Heat up the water so you can have tea, but we're gonna have, we're gonna have tea too. And we're gonna go in here. And um, well, it don't don't judge. It's a it's a dish washing day, so we're gonna make our oatmeal in our cup instead of instead of a bowl. It's the same thing. We got a uh, wifey, <laughs> hubby. <laughs> this is Christian's cup. This is my cup. So we're just gonna make some oatmeal in here. Uh, we got the Quaker. Quaker one minute oats. Oat fiber helps reduce cholesterol. Christian needs this. <laughs> I really need that. And, then, and uh, we took out Bailey. She just had her her food. This is her little food bowl. So she already ate. I think she thinks there's more food. And we have like a little pee mat. So at the back of our boat, she just pees on that. And then once it's used up, we dispose it. But when you're living on a boat, you can't always just go on to land. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Yeah. I, I actually sleep very good on boats. The only thing is because we switch spots. I, I like the other side of the side. Like, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> My neck a little bit. But I do like, like I love sleeping on the boat. We slept in today. Yeah, we have like a sunroof. So, and we found that we were waking up too early because when the sun get like when the sun comes up, we wake up sometimes at like six in the morning. So we had to make it darker. So we put like a yoga mat on top on the other side of the boat and it makes it dark. But we might have to find something a little more legit. That's, you don't want to have a yoga mat on your boat. That's weird. Oh yeah, and I also... This is what we use to sweeten the oatmeal. Just turn it up. Stir it up. This would look better in a bowl, but... <laughs> Actually, I'll show you it in a bowl. Yeah. Oh, we were watching, uh, this morning we were also watching church online. Yeah. So, that's actually what we do usually every morning. Well, not every morning, sorry, every, every weekend morning. Every Sunday. Sunday. Today happens to be. <laughs> so, yeah, we watched that. The, the pastor on church, he was talking about pizza and I got really hungry. Pizza? I will add, oh, I think I know why the dog was going crazy. She likes banana. <laughs> Bailey, you want some banana? Seat. She just eats it like that. <laughs> Let's put some banana in. So maybe you want to explain why we have some of these placemats down here. Oh yeah. So normally, let's see. Normally, okay, we have some place like these like little. This is Bailey's bed. This is Bailey's bed on the floor. But all these pillows and stuff, these are not supposed to be on the floor. But Bailey broke her leg or her hip like a two, almost two months ago. So she's still not supposed to be like, really jumping onto like hard surfaces or something because we don't want to like dislocate it or anything weird or the other one. So that's what the pillows are for to kind of cushion it. But normally these will be gone. Hopefully in, like in a week or two she'll be good. And we actually did just get like a little carpet to put here instead. I think it's nice. 
like a little area rug. Looks like the ocean. But that will be where this goes actually. So now, right now it looks a little messy on the floor, but it's it's out of necessity for the dog. You know, gotta take care of Bailey. Now we're gonna go and eat some breakfast. This is what we've been using to drink water. So in the morning, that's definitely one of the first things that we do in the morning. We drink a lot of water because we don't want to get dehydrated. So this is just filtered water and we get a big jug of this on land and then we bring it to our boat. It's kind of heavy, so Christian does it. So we just went for a little walk and as you can see here, we saw a seal and we honestly see a seal almost every day. They're so cute. So right now we're gonna um, just do some boat maintenance. Usually during the day, um, we've been picking one thing that we are like taking care of on our boat as we get used to knowing what kind of things need maintenance. So today's um, to-do list is to scrub the algae at the bottom of the sailboat because when that builds too much, then you like, your sailboat won't go as fast. It's just not as smooth. So me and Krishna are gonna do it. He's gonna go first and then I'm gonna go next. It's really important to scrub underneath the boat because that way you clean out all you know that gunk and algae that forms underneath the boat you can slow down the boat so in order to be efficient as a sailor when you're going out you got to keep the bottom clean so i'm going to use this scrub and i'm just going to start scrubbing right here and that's going to take out a lot of stuff that's growing right underneath you can see it kind of floating on the water right there See that coming right off? That is the algae that builds up under the boat and this is what we need to remove. Get this, part done. this side we might need to like turn the boat or use our dinghy but yeah. unless we stand at the top and like I'm gonna try this side now. Is anything happening? Oh, it's Hello? That would be hilarious if I fell in. Oh, look, I see stuff coming off. Yeah. I love having a stereo system in our boat because we can play music and sometimes I just start dancing. So we just uh, finished making lunch. And as you can see, we made like, um, just like a sandwich with meat and cheese and lettuce. It's kind of like our go-to lately and that's what we just had. Um, we just made that. And Christian's just now relaxing on the couch and uh, I think he's reading a book. I think I made him read a book. It's a very good book for couples. <laughs> uh, and now I'm just going to sit out here, get some sun, eat my lunch and uh, yeah, it's really nice out here. So right now we've decided to go and explore a little bit of um, just outside of Victoria. Usually um, during the day we've decided to go and check something new each day, um, something that we've never seen before. So today it's not too far from here, it's about hmm, 20 minutes away from where our sailboat is. We're going to go check out a castle. I'm really excited, Christian knows how much I love castles, so as soon as I heard that there was a castle here in Canada. Um, well, for me, it's new. I'm, I'm sure there's other castles. It's just where we were in Alberta. There's no castles, so this is really exciting. So I dressed up. I just changed because I want to take some photos <laughs> for my fashion blog. So I put on a little outfit and we're going to go to the castle now and we will see you when we get there. Wow. That's my first impression. That's really nice. Wow, look at that. Hey guys, how's it going? 
We are here at the Hatley Castle in Victoria. It's technically in the district of Langford, BC. Um, we are right beside the Japanese garden, as you can so see. So beautiful. And there's the gardens. You can like walk around and like there's tons of different flowers. Now the castle is currently closed, yep. um, but we do hope that it opens up sometime later this summer. Hopefully we can take you guys with us inside. Yeah, but there's so many nice places just around like where our boat is out, like where our sailboat is. This is like about like a 15 minute, you know, drive from where our boat is. And there's so much beautiful things to see like this castle. So it's been really cool exploring new places. Let's go check it out. Do you see that big tree? It's a really big tree. The cut right here. It smells like Denmark. <laughs> it's so nice. What do you have to say about this uh, castle? Uh, I think it's beautiful. I think it's awesome that Canada has something like this. You don't really expect it unless you go to Europe or something like that. But uh, to have something like this is really nice. It's a nice tree. And I hope to come again. I yeah. hope to go inside sometime too. Yeah, next time we'll have to go inside, hey? So over here is the ocean and me and Christian were just walking around. It smells very, very like salty water. It's very ocean vibes here, um, but I really like that. And yeah, lots of different birds over here as well. There's like some crazy birds. Um, like, wow, there's just one bird right now. It's like the crane bird. Really cool. And there's lots of Canadian geese here as well. And then just out there um, would be a bunch of little islands in between Vancouver Island and Vancouver, like mainland BC. So once we go out and start sailing out there, we'll be able to discover a lot of that for ourselves. So in the evenings, we usually like to sit outside of our boat and watch the sunset. Um, especially if it's not like overcast it's really pretty out here and right now it's golden hour so it's re also really nice for when like if we want to take photos or anything like that um, but it just makes the whole area so beautiful like the trees have a different like tone to them and the water reflects it's really nice so it's about 8 30 tonight and we just finished our dinner After we came back from the castle, we decided to start editing some of the footage for our video that you are watching, and so we usually edit our videos on this little laptop. And now we're just gonna kind of relax a little bit and watch the sunset, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna head to bed and this is the end of our 24 hours on a sailboat. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we live life here and uh, doing the live aboard. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how it is. So I hope you like this video and I uh, got some news to share with you guys as well. And that is that we are going to be making our first maiden voyage very soon. 
Uh, we won't say when, but it will be pretty soon. And uh, we're a bit nervous, <laughs> but uh, at the same time excited. And uh, we hope you can come along. Yep, see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, good night. <laughs> <laughs>